Ugh. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official uh, story. I always think uh, Seth Green was the perfect choice for Joker. <coughs> You're right. overreacting. All right, let's go with that one. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we meet you. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Um... Is he upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want you to send mission reports back to Combat Brass. What, that we got there successfully? <laughs> yeah. Alright, hang on one second, folks. Alright, everyone, welcome back. And let's go ahead and level our little shepherd up. You know. Um, hang on a second. Uh, let me make sure my settings are good. Uh, controls. Interact. Yes, okay, we're good there. And then go to squad. Now, I've never been Vanguard before, but uh, Vanguards are very good at pistols and shotguns. Uh, assault training is, um, it gives you a, um, extra weapon damage, and it gives you, excuse me, adrenaline burst, which is really cool because it lets you use your powers again. So, like, you can use all your powers, then hit adrenaline burst, and you get all your powers back immediately, which is interesting. Tactical <laughs> armor is always. Right, it doubles your ability. Um, oh, hang on. Um, tactical armor is good, obviously. We'll need that to get to medium armor, which is, I'm thinking, probably a must for a vanguard. Um, throw, of course, you throw things. Lift, you lift things. <coughs> warp. Uh, I think warp actually tears things apart. So it basically it's just... Damage. Yeah, it just does damage. It does damage to... Uh, six damage every second lowers the target's damage protection. Oh right, I forgot about that. Warp not only damages them, but it also makes them more susceptible to other types of damage. Pretty good. Uh, plus you also need that to get barrier, which is a, a bread and butter of a vanguard, which is basically you put up a biotic shield that lets you take a lot of damage. And then electronics is our bonus power. Um, it gives you extra shields and overload, which uh, takes out enemy shields. Vanguard uh, basically just increases our biotic protection and our weapon damage. And then of course you have your charm and intimidate. Which, depending on which route you want to go, Renegade or Paragon, this is how you convince people to do things. Now we have three points, yeah. and the way I'm going to handle it is whoever's the guest at the time of the level up chooses where the points go. So it's your choice. Uh, I'm for warp. Currently. Alright, and then we have two more. Because we can only go up to mm -hmm. two and warp. Okay, we'll need um, pistols. Alright, one or two? Um, one. I'm thinking uh, electronics is the third one. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. Overload! And then we will. Hang on a second. See if I can. Yes, there we go. Alright. And then let's go. Uh, do you want to go talk to the navigator or just keep going? Uh, just keep going. All right. What about uh, the Doc and Jenkins? Oh, yeah, let's, let's talk. All right. <coughs> what do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. No, we're gonna stay As there you forever. I hope you're kidding, <laughs> Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Uh, Chakwa says that about anything. She said that when we played Monopoly once. 
part of the job, Doc. Because ruthless. Whoa. Okay. Things work, Commander. That was weird. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson. From right. Him. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint too. Sorry, Doc. Uh -oh. This waiting. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with the Spectre on board. All right. Um. You'll do fine. Investigate, or it's another mission. Investigate will open up new dialogue options. Uh, investigate. Let's see. Uh, you can so, ask about yes. Nihilus, the Spectres, or Eden Prime. Eden Prime. All right. You're from Eden Prime. I don't Prime, care what he you? thinks about the aliens. What's it like? <laughs> it's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after It'd be funny. Shepard's like, uh, I was actually just interested in, like, tactical elements. I don't really care that you were daydreaming on a hill. <laughs> that helps yeah, me none. Wanna, no, you know, all tactical approaches, <laughs> choke points, bottlenecks. You know, Why are we going there anyway? Things that soldiers care about, not poets. Alright, uh, <laughs> why are we going there? Or back to investigate. Why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy it for a shotgun run, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> There's no danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's just not the mission. Completely worthless to me. <laughs> Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you yeah. to say. For me. Yeah, yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. He proved himself on Torfin. All he did was get his unit killed. How does that prove himself? Mm, oh, it proves himself, not the unit. The unit failed. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> guys, now how to tell him to rush in? As in, yes, please, go there and get shot. <laughs> I don't think um, he has that option. But, but rest, rest assured, rest assured, he needs no help from you. <laughs> uh, okay, don't play the hero. All right, I'm the hero. <laughs> right, don't get in my spotlight. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this. Do smart up. things to mess it up. It's not about your personal glory. <laughs> yeah, right, it's about uh, my personal glory. Okay, goodbye. Right, the captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Chakwas. Renegade plus two. Woo! Hi, Nihilus. Yeah, we're totally going the Renegade route. Nice. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance Hello, to Hello, alien. <laughs> we're going to uh, talk, Where's or... Captain? Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I thought the I've heard captain... It's quite beautiful. Or rather, Nihilus was with the captain when they called him from... Well, well, when he spoke with Joker. Well, you and know... Then, the, you know, when nature where, calls. How? <laughs> the captain's just, like, sitting there dancing, going, I really gotta pee. Can you just talk to him? <laughs> I'll be back in a second, <laughs> I promise. Yeah, right. yeah, I guess that's, that's the most possible reason. Okay, so... Uh, so what? Uh, he's, <laughs> he's asking about Eden Prime, which we still know yeah, nothing yeah, about because yeah, yeah. Jenkins did not tell so us. So what? <laughs> so what? All right. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. Exactly. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime <clears throat> is a symbol of your people, a perfect little world on the edges of your territory, proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Uh, threat. Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. You're trying to scare me, alien. Is the Alliance truly <laughs> ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. This mission will reveal you that there is no Santa Claus. Oh no! What? What do you mean there's no this Santa Claus? 
taking you to the North Pole. <laughs> this is it. There is no Santa Claus. It's like, but who do you think gave me this scar? <laughs> <laughs> that was the Easter Bunny. Whose workshop he do you is think? Real. He, whose workshop do you think Shepard was breaking into? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, that's obvious. We're taking that up. All right. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. All right. Why the security? You should have told me. What are we picking up? Should have told me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top. Yeah, he likes the spotlight. Strictly on a need to know. Basis. Yes, he does. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Beacon. No, beacon. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> He's like, man, that must be some really bad bacon. No shepherd beacon. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Bro, the bacon. Um, where are the details? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepherd. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle it. Like we need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? Error rate. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, yes. even dangerous. Yes, <laughs> yes all true. Not bad. We improve relations with the Council. <laughs> Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. It's funny, Shepard's like, I, I just don't understand. Why would the Council care about some bacon? No, Shepard, beacon! <laughs> <laughs> beacon, Shepard, God! Wait, so if the Council has more experience than we do with bacon, <laughs> but they have never seen pigs... It's like, it's like um, yeah, they, they've never seen my mom make some bacon. <laughs> Shepard, yeah. God, focus, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was supposed to see you in action. He's here to evaluate you. Um, it even looks should like... Should have known sounds good. Why? No. It, it, Why is not going to be the right one? It even looks like Shepard's just staring off at a space going, Mmm, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I should have known? I could cut Nihilus up and make nice bacon from him. Mmm, alien bacon. Oh, Shepard. Right. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go with... I should have known. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> we gotta focus here. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Well, technically my soldiers got the job done and I just watched as they died, but you know, whatever. Details. You know, the operation was actually called Operation Meat Shield. Right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyways, um, what if I refuse? All right. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you. Exactly. You I like to make decisions about other people's futures. <laughs> I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Yeah, he was like, I was going to be You'll in the be summer in musical. The ground team. Secure the beacon and get onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I don't want to be a Spectre. I was going to be in the Shrek musical production this summer. <laughs> you bastard. I didn't want to be a Spectre. I wanted to be a White. Or maybe a wraith or something. All yeah, right. wraiths are cool. <laughs> um, okay, what are the options on the investigate? Yeah, it's like Shepard's like, but I'd have to die first. No, Shepard, not that kind of specter. 